The new Trimble R2 GNSS receiver has a web user interface which makes it much easier to access and set up and configure the R2 receiver. In this video will show you how to access that web UI from a Windows device. Step one is to uh, hit the only button on the R2 and turn it on and then jump over to your the desktop of your Windows device. For this video I'm just using a, a Windows laptop but the workflow is the same on any sort of Windows 7 or 8 device. Uh, I'm going to go down here to my Wi-Fi settings and I'm connected to my office Wi-Fi. I need to disconnect from that and because my R2 is turned on I see uh, R2 GNSS and 1301 is the last four of my serial number so I'll go ahead and connect to that and then I'll pull up any web browser I'm going to use Google Chrome and uh, this is the R2 web page you don't really need this but uh, if you go to technical support documentation it'll show you the user guide and in the user guide it'll tell you the IP address you need to connect to your R2 so 192.168 I'm just gonna copy it and also if you scroll down it'll tell you the default password so this is a brand new R2 out of the box I'm gonna enter that IP address and because it's brand new out of the box you can use the default username admin password password alright looks good so now that we are logged into the R2 we can see what satellites it's tracking but also a lot more things like let's say there's a problem with Galileo and we no longer wanted to track those satellites we could click on satellites enable disable go to Galileo and disable all and you definitely want to click OK to save your settings in this web user interface so that's one thing you could do from here uh, very common use is to go to the IO configuration and let's say you wanted to send out a NEMA message through Bluetooth you could pick an open Bluetooth port and enable NMEA and you can also set specific NEMA sentences GGA should cover most of it but uh, whatever third-party software you may be using with the R2 should specify we want GGA we want RMC and what rate but then you click OK and now this R2 is outputting NEMA GGA at one hertz once per second through Bluetooth uh, last but not least you could if you forgot your Bluetooth pairing code you could set a custom one here but that's it for this short recording from Compass Tools if you have questions you might visit blog.compasstoolsinc.com or you can email support at compasstoolsinc.com